Hello, I am uh, Espresso Manich and welcome to a new series here on my channel. I actually decided to uh, start this off on my other channel which is more football manager based. I had, or I should just briefly go through that I had this, uh, another uh, I did a playthrough with Gunsley in 2000, Football Manager 2016, but don't check out that because it's pretty terrible, but hopefully now it will work out better. Uh, but I am not, I, I mostly as you would see if, if you check out any of those videos of an espresso manage you will see that most of them is in Swedish but this will be in English I would at least try it out and see how it works so yeah here again with Ga Geisley yeah I should say right I in the last <laughs> and it was a lower league management as well and then there also there was the first season in Banner Rama National but now it is the second season here yeah. but then it did not went that good either not in the playthrough either I, so I did many mistakes in that gameplay uh, not just commentary but also tactically I had like 12 or 11 instruction and this low down in the series I've seen like it, it's better to not complicate it too much because the players are not that tactical or whatever but I, I will just just a brief introduction to this series and I hope you enjoyed the intro there uh, which I made I hope it's decent at least uh, but yeah I did a lower league management on uh, football manager 2009 and it went pretty good I went uh, in as long as Champions League I can't remember uh, 2030 or something I believe it was uh, but I lost it to Liverpool uh, last uh, the 2016 um, lower league management which I did I said that I would try to do that but now I, I don't know I in that series I got uh, relegated and then I got the kicked second season so now I f we will start off with Geisley and we will hope that we can keep Geisley because the series is called out of the shadows um, or officially out of the shadows uh, of uh, Leeds since yeah it, there it is our small or our, our, our bigger affiliated club Geisley is uh, actually um, or what's called regional where it's really close to Leeds where it's, it's a small town just some miles uh, east or west I don't know uh, of Leeds so yeah and so that's the introduction there and on the club what it says I actually changed one name here Danny Love is captain I don't know he's be he's better than he was or I, I said he's better but maybe as marginal I just don't know he's just he has good mental stats I guess but he's technical stats stats are pretty poor and he's 31 he's not best in uh, on the as the left defender in is not first or second choice as central defender so I don't know how we'll do with him we might sell him uh, I'm sorry <laughs> to have love and uh, I renamed him uh, uh, this player he's actually called a uh, James uh, Veslov Veslovsky but I thought that is way too difficult and I'm not going to remember because just in the last series I did with Gunsley I just butchered so many names so yeah and <laughs> a little bit maybe inspired by the, another youtuber I am going to name the players if I can't tell by them 
uh, what is or uh, what the name is called. So Weslowski, Weslowski, yes, and he, I guess he isn't that fast, so <laughs> it kind of makes sense or whatever. Legends, there are not that many. Uh, Boyer, uh, Mark Bo Boyer, I believe, is the manager where he was manager before. I decided to be Swedish because I'm a, I'm Swedish. If you don't know, uh, yes, Bower was before Adam Lockwood. Unfortunately, Adam, I was a little bit angry by this. Okay, I understand that he would go away on his manager, but I still wanted him as a player here because he's very experienced. So yeah, and unfortunately. Or I've not scouted him yet, but uh, where I've mostly as used the sky scouts to do is by I might check out some older players which I had in the Lao lower league management with Gunsley, but mostly we would just check. But he he would have been great. Uh, well, we cannot see all stats, but if, if you can, see, oh, career stats. He's been in League One, League Two. Some Vanarama National, even some championships. So he has a lot of uh, experience both in league and non league or professional or semi professional level. So this was a little bit unfortunate, but uh, well, uh, we would go watch with what we have. Unfortunately, I've not been able to do that many transfer yet. <laughs> The Wolf is a player which we might take in because we don't have... <laughs> I guess we have a little bit better, but this, he might actually play on the left wing more. There's the backup there. The Wolf is James Wolfden. Uh, Harry Pratt... Uh, I don't know. Should we really get him? He doesn't look that great. I don't know. I guess we will see. And Clark Ogier, but I don't know if we could take him in either. And I might later on get a director of football, but it doesn't seem like a point right now. And I tried to hire a um, youth coach and it did not work. The, what is called the, the board stopped that move. So. But the only really out and in was Lockwood here and a new goalkeeper. He actually looks pretty good, I would say. He's only 16 years old and uh, yeah, he had no club before. So I just uh, offered him a contract and he still has a youth contract. So that's pretty nice. It doesn't cost that much. And he actually really pays as well, which is surprising for a goalkeeper to be. Um, I guess pretty decent mentals and some handling steer and yeah, nice reflexes. But he looks so pissed off. I don't know why he looks pissed off to <laughs> to arrive at Gunsley. But uh, oh well, we will go through here. We really need some better players. We really need uh, mostly defenders, I would say, uh, central defenders. But uh, well, uh, John uh, Rowley, you saw him there. He might actually be the first keeper. He said that he is the better one, but I don't know since this. Or I guess he lack match fitness as well, so it might not even matter. But then Atkinson, he was before. Uh, on the recent save as well, or I guess I should not uh, repeat myself or whatever. But yeah, he's he's pretty talented, but not that good right now. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any goalkeeper that is really brilliant right now. And we have Steven Dickerson, who plays two roles. He's, he's decent for being 43, but I mean... Yeah, he probably will not play that much, but it's always good to have free keepers, I guess, if we get injuries. Uh, Mark Williams have played played recently, actually, in India, and he's played 
a lot of League 2 and League 1 experience he has. So I feel like he will be very useful in the squad. And as you can see, there is a good player for this league. Then Love, you saw him. I don't know if we should show him again. I mean, oh, yeah, that, there we have Danny East, the other Danny. <laughs> I may call him that. But yeah, he is not too much experience, but a little bit at League 2. Vidal, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about him. I feel sure he has a good pace, but otherwise not really that great, and especially not defensively. So yeah, I don't know. He might be a backup or something. Or he can play at the right wing as well, so he might do that. I guess we will see. And Rob Atkinson, as you've seen before, he's pretty good. He's uh, old, just like Lockwood he is, uh, has a lot of experience from League 2 and League 1. Ashley Palmer, he is new from North Fairby. Did, did it very good there, but he has not really played uh, this high up, so I don't know. It might be tough for him, uh, as you will see here at the stats. Don't We don't have the best uh, central defender, so we need some more... That was why I was not happy with Lockwood just getting away in there. Uh, Jack L uh, Lawyer, lawyer. Uh, I think I will call him the lawyer maybe. Uh, he's pretty good jumping but, and stamina and strength, but eh, I guess aerial and speed, or speed is not that great either. I mean, he's just average whatever he's not that great actually i guess he's a decent backup but not too much more and love as you see him before um we have hatfield who's pretty versatile he can play he's one of the best uh, midfielders i feel in our team he can play almost everywhere he's a good Werner on a national player and uh, Great passing, great technique, pretty good uh, mental and pretty good physical actually, so that's not too bad. Strength he doesn't have the best, but I mean he's mostly a winger, so that isn't surprising. And as you can see, Veslovsky, you've already seen him. And uh, Axel Puler, Puler, yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, Pretty decent. He's on a loan from Leeds, so I guess we will see. Uh, unfortunately, he's just on January um, the first of January or the second of January. So uh, I tried to make his loan loan longer, but I could not right now. So I guess we will see how long uh, or if we need to have one other in and. As I said before here, Hat Will can play there as well. And then we have Simon Wellington. Oh wow, really good penalty uh, taker. He's pretty good in the air, yes. Pretty good tackler. Yeah, he he's, he's pretty good defensive mid here, I would say. And as you can see, oh, he has some championship experience, but mostly League 2 and League 1, so that's nice to see. So there, so there's, I would really say that Geisley here has a better team than last time I managed him, so that's good to see. Nicky Clay, um, really good technical stats. Uh, his physical or, or his... Yeah, his mental stat is also uh, pretty good, but his physical stats is not that great. But he's 32 after all, so I don't know. Um, might need some more strength there. Yes, and then we have Luke Porret. He's just pacey, that's the only thing. And he looks like an uglier, <laughs> uglier and older young Rooney, whatever. <laughs> So we might call him <laughs> Rooney, the Pacey Rooney, I don't know. Uh, Jack Cassidy, um, he's pretty good, Welshman, only 23 years old. 
good, decent player even for the league too. That's nice to see. Yeah, actually, yeah, he's played some league too. And as you can see, he's not done so many goals. I don't know if we should really expect that many. He's actually the best uh, role he is, he is as a forward and as a target man. So maybe we should actually play him as a target man. But it's still not bad uh, stuff at all for a striker in this league, I would say. Uh, he is one of the best, at least. Uh, Jordan Preston, pretty young there. Uh, yeah, not too bad, actually. Good off the ball and good work rate. Good strength, good, pretty decent uh, physical stats there. And yeah, he's... He's pretty decent, and he can even get better, actually. And uh, Michael Renkel? Uh, Renke? I don't know. Might. <laughs> I might rename him something else. I don't know. But he's pretty strong and good in the air. As you can see there, long throws as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He's not impressed me in the preseason here. I guess we might just go, uh, we will go through the team and then uh, I will stop and in the next episode we will go through preseason because it's a lot of players to go through still and I don't want this episode to be more than 20 minutes, <laughs> which they were before. Ollie Johnson, he did not impress me last time, he doesn't even look that great, um, I mean he's okay, but I mean... Not that great. <laughs> I guess that is his good flair, good work right there. It's good dribbles, but so who knows? But I don't know. I feel like dribbles is not the important thing. Uh, Adam Boyce, one of my favorites from 2016 here. He is, I believe he scored like 13 or something or 14 in my save. Uh, sorry for uh, referring that so much by the way he's pretty decent 25 i mean unfortunately it doesn't seem to be able to uh, uh, or get that much better but i mean he's decent still so that's not too bad i guess that was everyone I we might have some other one if i uh, let me see here if we have anyone else that we might have put up no, not really. And the only ones are this one's Joel Thompson, which is a young player, but I feel like he's not good enough. Uh, William Walsh, pretty good physical stats, but that's just, that's just all. And Dewitt Morton, he actually did a pretty. Oh my god, I was just hit <laughs> once, but uh, and. It's just difficult because shots or whatever it is uh, in Swedish would be up here. That was what confused me, but oh well. Uh, so I guess in the next episode we will uh, go through the preseason, or, or you could see there, and go through the tactics and so on and do the first match. So yeah, the... the Feel free to tell me how long you want the episode to be and such. Uh, and I will make it as good as I can get. As good as it can be. So, yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, it was not... Uh, or I guess I should end. Yeah. Uh, I see you next time. So...